Hello. After what's been another fairly warm week for many of us, the weekend is set to bring something even warmer. In fact, I think the days at times will feel quite hot and the nights will be very warm and humid as well. But as we head into Sunday, we are going to see a bit of a change, some thundery downpours swinging in from the west, courtesy of a frontal system, which is a long way away to the west of us right now. Good morning both. I don't think we've got too much to worry about at Glastonbury this weekend. I think the main thing is going to be the strength of the sunshine and the humidity. It is going to be a pretty warm weekend for many. And that heat holds in the atmosphere into the start of tonight. And by the time some of you will be contemplating heading to bed, we'll still see temperatures quite widely in the 20s. So another uh, sticky and uncomfortable night out there tonight. And Matt, everyone's wondering, is the weather going to hold? Uh, it will do for today, at least, uh, Charlie. Very good morning. Things changing tomorrow, but out there at the moment, it may not look particularly promising. Rather grey scene here in uh, Devon and uh, fairly misty and murky around some southern and western parts right now, but that will break up. It's going to be a pretty warm, if not hot, day today across most parts of the UK. And just look where those temperatures are heading under uh, more sunshine this afternoon. 25, 26 degrees northeast of Scotland, 24, 25 in Northern Ireland, up to around 31 towards the southeast. Mid 20s at Trent Bridge uh, should just about stay dry here. There's a very small chance, and I mean a very small chance, of a passing light shower. Dry though and very hot at uh, Queen's for the semi-finals there in West London. And with temperatures around 29 degrees this afternoon, it's going to take a while for that heat to uh, disappear as we go into tonight. And I think it's going to be very warm for much of the country too. Today at least. Matt, morning. It will do, and for some tomorrow as well. Very good morning to you. Before we go into that, though, let me just quickly show you one of our weather watcher shots. I'll get out of the way. Beautiful fog bow in the uh, north of Scotland. Much like a rainbow, it just forms from the water droplets of fog as it starts to clear and the sunshine gets to work as well. And a lot of low clouds you have got at the moment will gradually clear to sunny spells through the day. And what will reveal quite a warm, if not very warm, if not hot day for many of you. Quite humid out there, as it will be again by night, but there are some changes on the way this weekend. Uh, into Sunday, some of you will get a few thunderstorms. We've had a lot of hot days this month, haven't we? We have indeed, yeah. Yesterday we were talking about how some parts of the UK are on track to probably their warmest June on record, but... One other feature we look at is uh, how many days above 25 Celsius we've had. Now, we arrived at that figure very late. 30th of May was the first time we saw anywhere in the UK record 25 Celsius. But this June, the warmth has been building. At London Heathrow, we've had 14 days above 25 degrees. The record is actually 17, set in 1976. We've already had a record number of 25 Celsius days in Aviemore, nine compared to the previous record of seven. And both these spots will see those rise even further as we go through the rest of this weekend because the heat is not quite done yet. It's been dragged in from the south with it a lot of humidity on southerly winds ahead of these approaching weather fronts. These will break the heat down across parts of the UK through Sunday and into Monday. Pretty warm though out there in the sunshine and we'll have temperatures roughly around those levels through the rest of this week but a much more changeable week compared to the week gone. There'll be rain at times in the north and the west, always dry at the further south you are, but even here there'll be one or two showers and still feeling warm when the sun is out. Naga, Charlie, back to you both. Matt, when I look at those temperatures that you started with, how many we've had over 25 degrees Celsius, and then earlier today you were looking at the overnight temperatures because we were saying Glastonbury was in that top six, wasn't it? What are your yes. top tips? Like Not fans, not electrical gadgets or anything. Top tips for keeping cool. Uh, I think the main thing is to try and keep your house cool. So it's keeping those curtains and south-facing windows shut during the day. Uh, first thing in the morning, when the temperature's at the lowest, open the windows to let some of the fresher air in and then get them closed before the temperature starts to build again. It's like That's a military operation tip. with you, isn't it? I can imagine you being very, very organised. Got the whole family. <laughs> Absolutely. I can just see it. <laughs> Matt, thanks so much.